way. Yeah, sorry about that. I accidentally pushed the wrong button, the, the wrong hotkey, so. Let me do something really quick and then I'm, I'm gonna open up my back rewards here. You're supposed to switch to that. That's why this whole thing happened. That's fine, I have to adjust some of this anyway. Put it in the middle. Yeah, that looks fine, I don't care. refresh it so I can get that off of there. <clears throat> but yeah. So I want to make sure my... Yeah, there you go. This is the package where my backer rewards came in. I'm going to open it right now on stream for all the peoples. where you can see and see know what's going on here. Why isn't my Twitch app not working? This might be a bitch to open. RJ? I mean, what up, RJ? Okay. Let's see what this first thing is. Ah, it's the game box for PC. the taco emote. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna have to grab it. Oh, just <laughs> rip all the tape off. This is it. This is what my back tier was to get that. Let's see how it looks on Oh, 
Hold on. I, my camera's delayed, so I have to move this in a weird way to get it for you guys. That's the DVD case for the PC copy I got. I'll show you the back, too. There isn't much to see, but... You're not going to see this really anywhere else, so... The year 20XX. I might leave this shrink wrap too. Yeah, right? Because, uh, you're not really gonna get this anywhere else. This is a back reward, so you can't buy this anywhere. And if you have one, it's either because you're a backer or you bought one from a backer. Like this is the last thing right here. Some unmarked folder or envelope made out of cardboard of some kind. What mysteries do you hide cardboard envelope? Oh, it's the game box. It's tape shut so I can pull this out for you. Hold on. I think it's like a Super Nintendo box. Yep, we got an instruction manual. Hold on. Like I said, it's on delay so I have to adjust it slowly. Actual game manual. Yeah, even so, there's computer controls. It's all in Japanese because I got a Japanese game box, but it's got X Bone controller on the display or on as the art. And here's the box itself. Hold on. I'm trying to find good angles. Damn it. And there's the back. Let me set it up. Actually, I kind of don't want to do that. Because, like I said, this is also... This is backer only. So, you're not going to find this anywhere else. I don't really want to fold it and make it into an actual box even though it looks really cool. That's awesome. That's not something you see anymore these days. Yep, you're right. Yeah, like I was saying, I think it's in the style of a uh, box you get for a Super Nintendo cartridge. Because it's too small to be um, NES. Sorry, I had to plug my phone in. Oh shit. No, not you tape. Okay, we're good so far. Yeah, we're good. That's really cool. Like, yeah, let me show you the. No, I have to move this so I can see the camera. Let me show you this again just because I like this box art. Like, you see all the. Um, bosses in the background and backs in the front. Damn it. Like that? Nope. There you go, yeah. You get a good look at all the bosses and backs in the front. Like, trying to be a cool guy even though we all hate him. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm really happy about having this. It's cool stuff. The 
game didn't come out to be what we want it to be. And I won't pretend that's not the truth, but it was fun while it lasted, and you know, if there is another Mighty Number no. 9, holy fuck, don't fuck this up tape. Fucking tape. I'm gonna just pull you up, I don't care. Put it back in the plastic, throw it back in this cardboard, and hold on to it forever. I mean, all the game, all we wanted for the game was to be Mega Man, the return to Mega Man. And, uh, I think everybody kind of envisioned, like, 2D side scroller, classic style, um, Mega Man game. Not a, not in a 3D engine, not with the weird, um, dash mechanic. They also didn't deliver on a lot of promises, like, um, you're originally supposed to be able to take something from every enemy and get a transformation out of that, and they eventually couldn't do that, so they had to take it out, and... The game itself just isn't that great, like, even, even if you took away the fact that it was supposed to be... Mega Man's predecessor. It's just kind of campy and it kind of feels like a ch uh, Saturday morning cartoon for kids. Especially with the terrible voice acting in English. There's just a lot about Mighty Number no. 9 that didn't pan out to be what we wanted it to be. And, you know, I'm happy that the campaign. Blue Juice. I'm happy about the campaign being successful. It was fun being there for it. And I'll always have my back rewards to remember it, but I wish there was more to remember besides that disappointment that was the Kickstarter campaign. But, you know. Whatever. But yeah, I've been up for about two hours now. I'm gonna call it a night. Like Pac-Man Adventures, ugh. Yeah, yeah, that would actually be a good way to put it. On that level of crappy... That level of crappy Saturday morning cartoonness being the follow-up to a great video game. Yeah, my favorite TV show. Fuck you. Go in the center. Really? Is that right? I think I need to fix that. Yep, that wasn't there all the way. Sorry, I'm doing setup. Basically killing time at the end of my my number nine stream because there wasn't a whole lot of gameplay to go around And when there was it wasn't good because this game's fucking hard for some reason That would just suck. I don't know Anyway, I'm gonna call it a night to everyone who stopped by. I appreciate you coming out I'll see you next time I stream whenever that is and Till then have a good night see you later and